Revelation 3682, from the 10th of February 1946. Praying with Humility True prayer requires true humility, only then will it be pleasing to me, for humility towards me is also proof of love for me, because love will never want to dominate but only ever be of help. Anyone who therefore appeals to me with a feeling of love in his heart will also be able to humbly approach me and I will respond to his love and grant him my grace. However, anyone lacking true humility merely sends a fearful call to me, whom he certainly acknowledges in his heart but whom he does not love because he has not become love himself and, because he does not love his neighbor, cannot receive love and grace from me either. This is also often the reason why prayers remain unanswered, for I request humility of heart since it is the evidence of love for me. Humility of heart excludes every arrogant thought, it excludes heartless actions, for love and humility go together and are not in opposition to each other. This is why a humble heart is well pleasing to me and which I will provide with grace and love in abundance. Profound humility, however, does not show itself in a person's external demeanor, for this is at all times abhorred by me. Humility towards me only manifests itself in prayer and humility towards another person in helpful neighborly love. External gestures, however, often feign humility while the heart does not feel it. I, however, look at the soul's motivation. I won't let myself be deceived by appearances, and therefore the sign of my grace will only rarely be found where an outward appearance of humility is given, where fellow human beings are intended to recognize such in gestures, in attitudes or humbly sounding words. I only pay attention to the humility of heart and these are the people I consider, although outwardly they assert themselves and don't display any kind of subservience but anyone who actively engages himself in helpful neighborly love will not elevate himself, he will always remain a servant of the Lord, for he complies with my commandment, he lives up to what his Lord requested of him, he subordinates himself to my will without having been forced to do so. And if he thus prays to me his request will likewise be that of a servant to his Lord or that of a child to its father to whom it subordinates itself in love and profoundly humbly entrusts its worries to him. It will not demand but request, which is a sign of humility, the acknowledgement of the one who should grant its prayer. And its request will not remain unheard. Pray correctly and your wishes shall always be granted. Request but don't demand. Remain deeply humble in your heart so that my grace can flow into you and know that I will never require an external gesture, that external gestures are never pleasing to me because they easily become a cover for those who are not profoundly truthful, who want to deceive and whose hearts feel different than it seems. Therefore take no notice of them or copy them but be of loving service to your neighbor and you will be graced by true humility of heart which will find my pleasure and which I will be able to reward with grace in abundance. Amen.